Gentleman from Ohio is recognized. <clears throat> well, once again, as Congressman Fry said, uh, we want to thank you for your time and a lot more uh, information today than Monday. So thank you for that. I just have a handful of questions. I would love to have just a simple yes or no so we could get done with this. So on day one, President Biden issued an executive order mandating DEI programs in the executive branch. You responded by hiring FBI's first ever chief diversity officer. You're even on the Bureau's website quoting saying that diversity and inclusion of the workforce is something I care deeply about because the success of our efforts impacts our operations, our culture, and our future, end of quote. So director, just a simple yes or no, do you still find DEI hiring practices to be central to the FBI's operations, cultures, and future? I believe that diversity is an important part, uh, is a core value uh, of, of a high performing organization. Do you have any concerns that our homeland security efforts will be hampered if the FBI, if the FBI continues to use DEI as a primary hiring measure? I don't believe that we use DEI as a primary hiring metric. I would say that we have not lowered our standards. Yes and or I no, feel, please. I, I, let me, if I could finish. It's not a yes or no question. Uh, we have not lowered our standards, and the facts back that up. Are you aware of a 112-page report compiled by senior agents and analysts which stated, quote, if the current trajectory of the FBI special agent recruitment and selection continues, using DEI as the primary and sole measure of our homeland security efforts will be significantly hampered. Do you know about that 112-page report? I, I'm aware of a report uh, from a number of anonymous uh, former employees. Thank you. Do you agree that protecting former president falls under the umbrella of homeland security? Well, protecting the former president, the uh, physical security, the protective detail on the former president is the province of the Secret Service, which is part of the Department of Homeland Security. It is my understanding that historically the FBI had 100,000 applications for special agents on file at any given time of the year. So talking about slipping recruitment, are you aware that on February of 2024, a letter from the FBI's Assistant Director for Training Division, which reported the FBI only received an estimated 48,000 applications over a two-year period? I don't know if we're comparing apple to apple. What I can tell you is that in the time that I've been FBI Director, the number of Americans applying to be special agents has gone up dramatically. Uh, to the tune of, in some cases, double or triple the pace so the of the 48,000 If is I wrong? could finish, sir, if I could finish, please, to a rate that is higher, you'd have to go back about a decade or so to find the number of Americans applying to be special agents that are currently applying. Okay, so for the record, that 48,000 is probably wrong then in your eyes? I, I don't know. I haven't, don't have the letter in front of me, but I'm, what I'm it. not sure of is that, that we're comparing apple to apple in okay. terms of time periods and everything else. In advance of the Trump shooting, United States Secret Service Special Agent in Charge Tim Burke reportedly told law enforcement partners that NATO summit in Washington, D.C. limited his resources available to the Trump rally. The service has similar DEI hiring aims and failed their zero-fail mission to protect President Trump. Director Cheadle has since stepped down. Could the hyperfixation on hitting Biden administration's imposed DEI rules by causing the FBI and the federal law enforcement agencies to not only miss their prime can candidates, but also potential threats? Well, I can't speak to Secret Service's hiring practice. What I can tell you is that, in my view, diversity, like everything else, is something that has to be done in the right way. Just like everything else, there's a right way and a wrong way to achieve it. I think we can uh, and have achieved improvements in diversity and, at the same time, not lowered our standards. And I think part of the reason we've been able to do that is because of the encouraging increase increase in the Thank number you. of Americans applying to be special agents. The investigation to the planning of pipe bombs at the RNC and DNC headquarters has been going on for over three and a half years and will soon have lasted longer than the Biden presidency. I look forward to you proving yourselves because we haven't received any update right now on the Trump shooting since July 15th and the people really need that. Can the public expect a more transparent and timely investigation into the attempted assassination of former President Trump? I've been testifying here all day about 
the investigation into former attempted assassination of former President Trump, and we've done multiple briefings, and I've answered multiple questions. I mean, we appreciate that because, okay, it's, like that's I said, what you were asking. Of, well, it just seems like there hasn't been a press conference to the people to go through all the different details that were already presented today. And I'll just leave you with one final question. Um, the government is not doing their job. Do you feel as the director that perhaps like not only the FBI, but the Secret Service needs to have a complete re reconstruction? Or do you think it's still put together the way that could best do its job? The FBI that I see every single day, having visited all 56 of our field offices, at least twice, many of them three times, the FBI that I see engaging with state and local law enforcement from all 50 states that I hear about from prosecutors, judges, business leaders, community leaders, foreign partners, is an FBI that is respected, trusted, appreciated, and that is there for people when they need them the most. And that is the FBI that I see, and I'm very proud to be a part of them. Any comment on um, the other agencies? Uh, no, I'm not going to comment on other agencies. Appreciate your time, sir. Thank Yield you. back to the chair. Just